Hello everyone, welcome to Operation Reconciliation. My name is Jasmine. And I'm Jamie. And today we're going to be talking about our first ever trip to Africa. Yes. <laughs> okay. So our first um, trip to Africa, we went to Tanzania, Africa. And I believe it was 2021 of... June? June. <laughs> June. <laughs> June. 2021 of June. Uh, first, we want to talk about our thoughts about going into the uh, trip. So, first, um, my thoughts was I've always wanted to go to Africa because of my parents. My parents have been many times before us, many times before us, and hearing the stories, the beautiful stories, not even just like the life changing ones, but the funny ones, um, it was just. It was just something, it was always something a want of mine since I was young, young. And not even just hearing those, but it was also hearing the the ones that they showed us on TV and what they showed us uh, on television and all that. And it was like always of the hungry children or the starving babies or the sick kids. And it was just like, so it was a, it was a mixture of both. It was more of, um, it was more of, I hear what my parents say, and th but I see this on TV, and it was just like, I kind of mixed it in my head about, oh, yeah, um, what they, what their stories that they showed us, but I also mixed it with what they showed us on TV, so, yeah, that's how I felt about it, but I was, honestly, it was more of me wanting to go, so. Yeah, I would say it's around the same thing as Jamie, um, I've always wanted to go to also because of the stories I've heard from my parents um, about all the cool stories and intriguing stories that we heard from them. So I've always wanted to go, but I've always, always uh, heard the bad side about it too. You know, from what they show on TV and everything about how it's war ridden and you just don't want to go there because they have no water, barely have any food, you know. So it was just. Uh, it was just a battle going on in my head of whether I should or should not go, but you know, I, I want to go anyways. I want to go period because that's where my ancestors come from. So I want to go back and and you know indulge in the culture. Yeah, but when we when I when we got there, it was totally different from what we thought, and it was just such an amazing feeling because you see people like you, and it's just like. I can breathe and it's like a feeling that you never felt before it's just when you step off the plane it's just like wow and not even just that but the living is more natural there and the seeing seeing the animals and then just like the animal just walking along minding their business nobody's bothering them <laughs> they're not bothering nobody and seeing um, just how different life is there because it's just a more relaxed, yes, way more relaxed and more time. And it feels like there's more time in the day. And it's, it's, not, it's not like, oh, let me check my watch. Let me make sure I'm going somewhere. Like, I have, to, I have to go. I have to be here at this time. I have to be here at this time. Over there, it's like. We get there when we get there. We're gonna we're gonna get there. We're just what we're gonna get there. But it's just like we they take their time. They take their time in their life, you know? Yeah, that's what it seems that's what it seems that the culture is to us, uh, so far from when we've been there. So that's why we say that. But to be specific about where we went in Tanzania, we um we stay in this uh, village area uh with the Maasai. side. So we got to really indulge in their culture, uh, get to experience uh, their food, their dancing, you know, the clothes that they wear. So it was really eye-opening to, you know, um, to really, uh, learn about different uh, culture and how people live and and the bonds that we built there with the people and not just people our age but people that are older than us and younger than us and And 
you can you can feel the respect that you, that that they have for you and that and that we have for them. You know, it was just an instant like with the, with the people that we met, it was just like an instant bond. Yeah. And it's like you could tell they really care for you and they really do love you and just like we love them and we miss them with all our hearts. But not only did was it the bond, but we learned so much from them. Yes. And it's just like not even just like physically learn, but our mindset. We learn how to just sometimes just calm down, like pole pole, like what they say, slowly, slowly, just calm down. You don't be in a rush to go so many places. Don't be like, oh, let me, I gotta be here. Like, no, it was just live, you know. And we we learned so much because we also when we went there, we know we were able to um, visit some of the students. <laughs> They were just so welcoming. They, you know, they gave us gifts and it was just so sweet. Like we didn't expect that at all. We didn't expect that at yeah. all. But it was just so sweet. It just shows that they want us here. And they're always telling us like, like, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And you know, uh, what else? They were like, um, tell your brothers and your sisters to come. Tell your brothers. They're always telling us, tell your brothers and your sisters to come. And it's just like, they want, they want us here. They want us there. And they like to spin it to us like, um, like they don't want us there. Like yeah. they, they're like, no, we don't want um, black people there. That's African not Ameri true. African Americans. Yeah, they yeah. don't want African. They don't want African Americans there, and that's not true. They want us there, and they're and they're ready to welcome us back. Yes, and that even like open arms. Yes, and when we came back, it just felt. Like a part of us was missing. Yes, definitely. And it was like, not even gonna lie, like I cried for a Cried on the yes. plane cried yes. before we even got yes. on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Crying on the way back. Then we get home, yeah. crying at Cry. night, <laughs> like fuck work, okay? <laughs> and it just shows it was, like uh, Yes, it it was it was crazy. Because <laughs> it's all we could think about was yes. how can we get back there? Yes. How can we get back there? That's all we want to do. We, all, we just want to exactly. get back there. <laughs> exactly. And missing the people that we met, it was a lot of that because it's like they're they're like family. They are family. And it's just like you're missing you're missing part of you, you know. And it's just it was just really eye opening also because just life is different. Life is extremely different. But just different doesn't mean bad. Doesn't mean worse. Different in this case means better. To be honest, like just because people say uh, America has wealth, but they're but Tanzania, Africa, they're rich in culture and environment and people. Africa, period. Yes, they're very rich, and that's what I felt when I came back. Yeah, me too. It was same thing as her. I cried day and night thinking about it all the time. Um, it was it was very hard leaving there, leaving the bonds that we created, um, and I'm really I still think about it today. <laughs> yes, so we're ready to go back. Yeah, I'm yes. ready to go back. But yeah, that's our experience. That's our first experience in Africa, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys got yes. something from the video. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe comment. and comment. And see y'all in the next video. Tune in for our next video. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.